Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video. I don't usually post on Monday, but I am collaborating with one of my favorite YouTubers, Allie from Allie Terry, and she's not a booktuber, but she does have a fantastic channel that you must check out. Her channel will be linked in the description box. She does DIYs, she talks about um, capsule wardrobes, and she shows us some, you know, outfit inspiration. Um, she does travel vlogs. She does, she does a little bit of everything. She's more of like a lifestyle YouTuber, um, but she's totally awesome, so sweet, and I wish I lived in California so we could actually hang out but what better way to collab from the East Coast to the West Coast than to bring you this video she's gonna have a video on this as well so make sure to check out her video I reached out to her and said hey you've inspired me um, and I want to work on this video together and she agreed so I'm really excited we're finally <laughs> doing it um, it's been kind of in the works for the last few months but today we're bringing you some books for minimalists it's like a trend that seems to be going on right now um, minimalism and that aesthetic and just capsule wardrobes in general and clearing clutter and everything like that. So today I want to bring you some books that if you're looking to start the lifestyle of downsizing, maybe capsule wardrobes or just making your life a little bit more clean and simple, um, yeah, definitely check out these books and Allie's going to have some suggestions for you as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have three suggestions for you today and the first one is the one that I'm super excited about. The first one I want to talk to you about is called A Year to Clear and it is by Stephanie Bennett Voigt. I don't know how to say that last name exactly, but this book is awesome. It gives you a step-by-step -step directions on how to clear. It gives you 365 lessons like of the day and it's broken up into 52 weeks and they're kind of like themed. Um, so if you're beginning your journey into clearing clutter or you really don't know where to begin, I think this is a great first step. Um, I love the minimalistic cover of this book and I love how it's set up. It's your daily guide to declutterifying, simplifying, and letting go of all the things that are bogging you down. Whether it be your desk is always a mess because you have all this tons of paperwork and you don't know what to get rid of, or you just want to get rid of like you have 15 sets of dishes and you need to get rid of some of those. So definitely pick up this book if you're looking to begin your journey in downsizing and decluttering. I just think it, and it's a gorgeous book as well. So why not? Next book I want to talk to you about is Practically Minimal by Maggie Toy. And this is a book that I have featured on my channel before. It is a design kind of elements, ideas, inspiration book. Um, it has a lot of the m minimalist design elements like wood, and steel and it just shows you the elements that are used in minimalist design and it gives you some ideas it offers simple solutions for modern living and the aesthetic of these rooms that they feature are just perfect so if you're looking like if you're buying a new home and you're maybe looking to upgrade some features in your house um, definitely check out this one it gives you a lot of the materials and you know places that you can go to get them um, I do not have a minimalist background today because I am moving and so I do have a lot of clutter around me right now. Um, even my capsule wardrobe, I had switched from my fall winter into my spring one and it just got a little crazy because I had to go through all of my clothes and everything, but it was great to help like downsize and get rid of things, donations and things like that. And then as I move into my new home, I'm using this practically minimal to kind of help me set up and, you know, look for certain elements and things like that to bring into my new home. Last one I want to share with you is a recipe book and it is called Just One Pot and it is by Lindsay Bearham and this is just exactly what the title says. It's cooking meals in just one pot and if you're a minimalist and you have downsized your kitchen, a lot of people, you know, have a whole set of pots and pans but if you just have one great big pot like or if you just have a regular sized pot like if it's just you and your husband or, you know, you and your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. Um, maybe you don't need this big huge pot but if you have just one pot it offers over 200 recipes from vegetarian to meat dishes that you can cook in just this one pot and plus like 
the cleanup though, wouldn't you rather just clean this one pot than, you know, all these crazy dishes? I know Allie has made a recipe on her channel that had like zero waste. And so definitely check out that video of hers. I will link that in the description box as well. So I figured since she kind of did that, I wanted to include something from the kitchen. Cleaning one pot for me is perfect because you just don't have a lot of mess in the kitchen. And plus like maybe if you don't have a lot of counter space or cabinet space to store all these dishes, there are ways to go about having a minimalist kitchen and it's something that I am definitely looking to do myself. So those are my books that I recommend for minimalists. If you're looking to get into that aesthetic or that lifestyle, definitely check out these books. Again, thank you, Allie, for collaborating with me on this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and don't forget to check out Allie's recommendations, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.